Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. I'm going to show you how to draw this design. And some, some of you that watch enough of my videos know that I use a six-sided polygon a bunch. Well, this time I used an eight-sided just to kind of change it up. So I've got my polygon set on eight side. I'm going to hit the control button so it's perfect. And I'm going to hit P, put it in the center of the page. I'm going to go to Windows, Dockers, and Corners. And I'm going to round it. Let's go four and a half this time. Just give it a little bit more of a roundness to it. Now it's in the center of the page. Now I'm going to take a square. I'm actually going to rotate it 45 degrees and hit P. So that kind of gives us our shape. Now it's a little bit big. So let's, it's always, when you go back and forth to pick tool, it's always the last thing you still had selected. If you hold down the shift key, it'll grow from the center. I'm going to go ahead and bring in my indexing lines. Well, you know what? I'm going to wait for just a second. And then I'm going to take a three-point curve line. And the only thing you really kind of need to watch out, you need to go from that node over and then give a little bit of a twist. I'm actually going to make it a little bit more twisted so I could take the shape tool and bring that down a little bit and maybe just kind of play with it, whatever you want. It's almost easier if this is kind of on a straight line coming off there. Now we'll bring in the indexing lines because we're going to rotate this guy, control D and make a duplicate, double click on the rotation, put it in the center. Doesn't look like it is, but it is. And we're going to rotate it 90 degrees. So we have this shape. Take the smart fill tool. And this, you know, it made that shape on both ends. So we're good to go. Now I nudged out of the way one time. So I'm going to nudge it back one time. I'm going to go ahead and, uh, and this is where you could actually use the clone, but uh, uh, this is, I'm going to leave this one all the same color. Interactive fill tool. Then I'm going to put a little bit of black in this end, kind of making it look, I missed it. But just a little bit of black, kind of in the accent of the, the part to make it look like it's kind of going under. Now we're going to control D and make a duplicate, double click on the X and put it in the center and rotate it 90 degrees. Control D, control D. So it looks like it's a ribbon that's been twisted. Now let's go ahead and let's do a clone because uh, I think it's pretty important. See, I always move it out of the way to make sure I've just got one. I've already got my interactive fill tool going. I'm going to make it a little bit darker. Then we're going to go to edit and clone it. And then I'm going to double click on the X and move the rotation to here. If you don't hit that X, it'll do that. Go to the shape tool, 90 degrees, control D, 180 degrees. Sometimes you have to put the number in twice. Sometimes you don't. Now, what's cool about this, this is our control curve. Let me take away the indexing lines. And let's get, let's have that one selected and get our interactive fill tool and watch all four corners change. See, it got darker, lighter. So you could, I call it in real time. You can kind of see what's going on. And at this time, you could probably change your colors uh, on all four of them that quick. Anyway, and then you could take away the outline and see what it looks like. Either way, it looks pretty good. Anyway, I hope that helped just a little bit. Thank you for watching.